start again. Why is this the last time? Every time I interview you, the camera messes up for a second. Oh, they, they don't want me to be on camera right now. <laughs> they want to wait till I win the world title. So wait, you're fighting for the world title November 8th? WBC. Oh, yes. Uh, thank God. I mean, I've been wanting this WBC title for a long time. Um, I fought Vonda Wars three times, and it slipped away. Um, I think this is my time right now, and I'm so excited for November 8th. And let's keep it real. You're, you're the best women's heavyweight out, right? Uh, hey, you know, that's what they all say. I mean, apparently now I am, and I, I believe it now because all the girls that are coming up, they don't want to fight me. Uh, of course, I beat the number one, Sonia Lamanowski, and, you know, she wanted to get a rematch, and all of a sudden now she doesn't want it. So I guess I am the best now, but I'm going to make sure that I am the best November 8th, so you need to come and watch. Tell me about your opponent. You know what? Every time I fight, I'm not really interested in what my opponent and who she is. All I leave that to my trainer, my manager. They can figure it out. When I go in the ring and fight her, I'll find out in the first round who she is, what she got, and that's it. All I show everything in the ring. Whatever she's done, whatever she's doing, I really don't. It doesn't matter until the day of the fight. Whenever I watch you fight, I'm always amazed with how good of a boxer you are. You keep your distance really well. In the Soviet yeah. fight live, I was like, because you won every single round, definitively in that round, in my opinion. And then just watching you spar today, how in control you are. Where did you learn that? Oh, I got to thank this to my trainer, Deep Puller. His name is Donovan Pullers, but we call him Deep Puller. He's my trainer since I started kickboxing, and he showed me all the moves for boxing. Um, I got to thank to him, and then me, of course, putting the time. Gina Boom Boom Weedy would show me the defense and you know and so I just kind of listen to my trainer in my corners and and with my experience everything comes in place you know okay and what is your current coaching situation right now my what your current coaching situation like who's going to be in your uh program? right now it'll be uh Ed Cle Clements uh, my other trainer moved to uh, uh Fresno I believe now he's in uh, uh Gilroy so he has, hasn't been able to come and, and train me. Just you know, she just, he's just got married. So Ed Clayman and uh, Blanca Gutierrez, maybe Eliza also will be in my corner. So so far, Ed Clayman is the main the main guy right now, and you know I'm listening to what he says, and he's getting me ready for this. I'm looking at your shirt. Beautiful brawlers. You have a uh, autograph. I think you have the only. Is this the only edition that's completely autographed? I think every. Uh, you know, every time we have a, a show for the beautiful brawlers, I have everybody sign it. Uh, you know, it's just awesome just to be there and have all this talent in one place. So you know, showing this. All the signatures from all the best in California. You know, it's awesome. And. I I see the, the love you get back from the fighters because they always mention you. You're like the first person to bring up as like an inspiration or as just like the way you treat young fighters. Um, how, did, how does that relationship form, kind of like how close you are with the beautiful um, You know, uh, we close, but we kind of try to help all women in any age uh, form or anything. We're just trying to give them the positive way of boxing, the positive way to come in, uh, to train hard, you know, and I just, if they need any help in any time, you know, we try to help them out, you know? Okay, and uh, I, I gotta bring it up, because you know, I put up the last video, and Sonya had stuff to say. If huh. you win the WBC title, that makes you the best in the world, right? Yes. The WBC is the best belt. Yes. Like, from boxers, everyone wants the WBC. Yes, yes, yes. Would you... Now, this is going to sound crazy. Uh -huh. Would you go to Brooklyn in the Barclays Center and fight Sonya in New York? Oh my God, of course. Listen, and after she spoke all that stuff about me and about California and the commissioner, I told her, listen, I'll fight you at your hometown. Anywhere you want to, I will fight you in your house, anywhere in your backyard, anywhere you want to. You tell me, then she brought an issue where that I was too heavy for her. I was like, hey, my 230, we are heavyweights. What, what do you mean I'm too heavy? I t and I told her on a, on a Twitter, I said, listen, I'll give you a shot to fight me again. Tell me what way you want me to come in. I'll give you that. You tell me what way you want me at, I'll be there and we can do the fight. But she never responded, like, like always. She also said that she's more dumb beyond you. 
She said she doesn't need you. Ah, yeah, of course, she don't need me. I don't need her now. So, hey, you know, I got to fight now for the WBC. I won that you wanted to do it, and they hey, they told her, hey, you can't do it. We don't give it the, ch the shot to Martha. So now I have it. Now, if Sonia, if you want to fight for the WBC, when I get this WBC, you can come and get me. And then maybe you'll need me then, huh, if you want the WBC.